Hi guys, how are we doing? I'm, uh, I'm on the road today, I'm going up to a, well I'm here actually, I'm in a city called Lockbury, famous for its monkeys, I haven't seen any monkeys yet. I've been invited to a Thai wedding party, the wedding's tomorrow, the party's the next day, so I thought I'd stay up here overnight. Uh, I have been here before, my friends who's invited me to the party, they actually live about 20 miles north of here, and the last time I was here I checked into a hotel that was about five kilometres away from where they live, and it was pretty awful. I won't name the hotel because this is Thailand and you know how things work here uh, when you start uh, putting down businesses as it were. But I've checked into another hotel a bit nearer to town. I'm about four miles um, from the centre of Lockbury and it's called the Old Two Hotel. So when I get there what I'll do, I'm going to do a little bit of a review. So if you ever come here as a tourist and you want to just see all the monkeys that have made the town famous, uh, you'll know of a decent budget hotel. I've paid about 700 baht, that includes breakfast. I've looked at reviews online, it's got pretty good reviews, but I will film it when I get there. I should be there in about 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice hotel and uh, it'll be good information for you. Well, I've arrived safely and if you look behind me, that's the O2 hotel there. Uh, I haven't yet checked in. I had a lot of comments on my last video about my, my new hat. A lot of people seem to like it, but I haven't actually bought it to make a fashion statement. What it is, when you wear a baseball cap, it keeps the sun out of your eyes, but the back of your neck tends to get burnt. And I, I just find with this, it gives a lot more shade from the sun. So uh, it's a nice looking hat, but it does shade me from the sun. So I'm going to now check in and uh, I'll catch up with you when I, when I have a look at the room. Okay, so I've checked in. I'm assigned to this room. Hopefully I'll get a nice pleasant surprise. Stick that in there for the aircon. And uh, wow, yeah, 700 baht. So far, so good. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got a fridge and it's a bit bigger than normal. Is there anything in it? Any free water? There should be. Yep, two bottles, standard in Thailand. Two free bottles. Uh, obviously I haven't checked out the TV yet. Nice workspace there. Work on the laptop. And uh, wow, I am impressed with the size of that bed. That is pretty good. Um, it looks like it's been freshly painted. Nice balcony there. Let's go out and have a quick look at the view. I don't think I'm going to suffer from noise here. Uh, you can see there's some mountains off there in the distance. Yeah, so far, my opinion is pretty good. Okay, so uh, a couple of nice closets here. I'm only here for the one night, let's have a look at the bathroom. Okay, there's a bathtub, I won't be using that. Uh, but it looks pretty spacious, pretty clean. And uh, all in all, I think 700 baht for this room is a pretty good deal. Uh, it's a nice size, it's clean. The aircon looks like it works great. And it's actually got a view, what more could I ask for? Okay, so um, I had quite a comfortable night last night. I was quite pleasantly surprised. I kind of thought that um, because I'm on the second floor and I'm kind of over the entrance of the hotel, I thought I might be woken up by the slamming of car doors, what have you, um, but I wasn't. I slept quite soundly. Um, really strange setup for breakfast. As you can see, I'm sitting, it's almost like a ballroom. There's a stage behind me there and uh, typical Thai buffet. It was mainly aimed at the Thais. There's not much, there's no bacon, there's no sausages, not even the little hot dog sausages that you normally get, but there is bread. Um, I just asked the lady behind the counter there, uh, I said, no eggs? And she said, she showed me a menu and you actually have to pay extra for the eggs. I've never come across that before. So um, when you pay for the room, you get two coupons when you check in and that's to, uh, you give when you come here, you get the breakfast supposedly included in, in the uh, price of the room. But then you have to pay extra for the eggs and I find that really, really strange. Um, so, you know, if you're on a budget and you come here, it's okay. I mean, the room was pretty good, the aircon worked, uh, there's plenty of parking, what have you. Um, 
but there's no like I say there's no sausages there's no eggs it's just it's just kind of rice and vegetables and more of a, a, a kind of Thai buffet style and uh, I filled up on toast and eggs as I say instant coffee no coffee machine but it's okay so my overall opinion of this place for 700 baht you can't complain it's not the rich you get what you pay for a um, little bit disappointed with the breakfast but I was able to eat something unlike the other hotel I stayed in when I last came here um, they didn't even have bread for making toast in the morning, you know, so that was quite a difficult one. Um, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go back up to the room now. I'm off to the uh, wedding party. I, I know what it's going to be like. I'm going to have to be constantly refusing glasses of whiskey because I'll be driving back to Bangkok later today. And you know what it's like. You go to a Thai party and you don't drink alcohol. You're almost a weirdo, you know. So uh, that's going to be quite a challenge to kind of fend them all off with glasses of whiskey. But we'll see. But I'll see what else I can film when I'm over there. It's about half an hour's drive from here and I'm setting off. I'm going to go up to the room and... Uh, I'm going to rest for another hour. It's only nine o'clock in the morning and then I'll be off. So I didn't realize it was going to be such a big, spectacular wedding like this. Um, the ceremony's already been done. I've kind of been dragged along to the, the temple, as you can see. Uh, I don't want to get too close filming everybody. They might not like it. You know, you get to experience the real things that go on in Thailand when you're allowed or invited to come to these kind of events. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a cold drink thanks for watching guys I hope you can hear me okay I haven't got the external mic um, I've got to go and join the others I uh, hope you found it interesting and uh, I'll catch you on the next video